What's going on everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Malmar team sent in by Austin Jackson. Austin, thank you so much for the code. I absolutely love this team. But guys, if you want me to play your guys' teams, leave your the codes in the comments section down below. Make it easy for me. Tell me whether it's a singles or doubles team. Leave me a list of the Pokemon. And if you have an EV spread, send that in as well. It will seriously go a long way. Rocking in this front spot is Malamar right here. This is kind of what caught my eye. This Malamar with his ability contrary. And if you do not know what that is, is his stats... If you put like a lower stat on me, it's going to reverse and boost our stat. So say if they want to drop our attack, it's going to boost our attack. So it's going to throw some people off. He's rocking Rock Slide. Topsy Turvy. Topsy Turvy is an awesome move too. I cannot wait to show this one off. Say they play a Swords Dance. I can use Topsy Turvy on them. And any stats that are increasing, switch to decreasing. And any stats that are decreasing, switch to increasing. So if they have a lot of increasing stats, I'm going to just be like, nah, son, take that. Then we have Super Power and Throat Chop to do some damage. We also have this cool fable right here with copycat follow me in prison and dazzling gleam rocking with that magic card and iron ball at the slower speed down so maybe we'll throw him in if people are running trick rooms then we got the fish everyone loves the fish we don't even have to look at any of his moves he has fish's friend that's all you need to know and a choice scarf bam done with the fish <laughs> Then we got that Whimsicott has Tailwind. That's all you need to know about her. <laughs> nah, but it has Fling on it too with that Salic Berry. And if you guys don't know what a Salic Berry does, is it will increase the speed by one third. No, it will increase your speed when your health drops below one third. But Fling will actually just use the berry right away. If we use that move, the berry will trigger right away. Just like that, it's gone. Then we got this Rabombi, who's just awesome with Pollen Puff, Speed Swap, Fake Tears, and Charm. Just an all around good Pokemon. We can always Speed Swap with Pokemons to actually boost your speed. And then in the final spot, we have our Gengar, who is a great attacker with a weakness policy and curse body with two stab moves with Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball. We have Taunt and Dazzling Gleam to do this work. But guys, if you do enjoy this content, make sure you smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. We are pushing a thousand subs. Thank you to everyone who has supported the channel. Also, if you want to use this friend code for yourself, Right at the bottom of the screen, you guys know the deal. Definitely try it out. Let me and also know how you do with his team. And let me know for question of the day, who is your favorite Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Moon? This question of the day actually came up when I saw this Malamar because Malamar actually is one of my favorites. I like him. I like, what is it? I forget the Alolan. That's it. I was thinking of the region. Alolan Sand Slash. And I love Toxapack. But guys, let's get rolling with this team. I'm going to try to get some wins on this ranked ladder and show off this squad. First battle coming at you guys. This guy could either be going two ways with his lead. He could either be starting off with the Trick Room squad, or he could be going into that Weavile and that Colossal right there, setting off the Surf and that Weakness Policy. I could potentially see that, so I'm going to go Whimsicott and Malamar, because if he does go into that Weavile, I'm going to throw a Topsy Turvy right on that Colossal, because I know the Weavile will outspeed, get that Surf off, trigger that Weakness Policy, then we can Topsy Turvy out and switch up his stats and all that. But, so that's going to be my lead there. Then who else are we going to bring here? I feel like, oh, we bring my fish in here. I'm going to bring my fish and possibly my Gengar. And possibly my Gengar here. I feel like Gengar can do some work. Or do we bring the Rabombi? Or do we bring that Rabombi? No, I feel like we're going to double up on it. We'll have like three solid attackers here with that Malamar, the Draco fish, and that Gengar. And just have that Whimscott. Kind of sit there, set up tailwinds and all that, and get rolling. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. Come chat up. I would love to see you guys there. But here we go. Who is this guy leading? That's my question. Show me that Weavile Colossal action. Is that Weavile Colossal? I cannot read that. It is. It is. Okay, so he's going to go for a surf. He's going to trigger his weakness policy. I'm going to go straight into a topsy-turvy over on that Colossal. I'm going to go straight into it straight into it because if that weakness policy does trigger then then we're fine then we're fine so tailwind we go tailwind first does that weavile outspeed us i feel like the weavile the weavile so fast topsy turvy coming out and we're gonna send it over there so hopefully the weavile goes first sends he's gonna, probably gonna dynamax and we can trigger that weakness policy and just flip his stats it would be a beautiful little play if everything works out how i think it is but the weavile has to go first that's the thing let's see if he goes for it let's see if he does it so I think he's going to Dynamax the Colossal, Surf with the Weavile. But like I said, the Weavile has to go first, which I think it will. Weavile is a speedy little Pokemon. Speedy little Pokemon. A lot of people do this with a Weavile. Or not Weavile. We so far, so good. A lot of people do it with Sneasel because Sneasel cannot get faked out. It cannot flinch off the fake outs. Well, let's go. Let's see if this is going to work. That would be awesome. We can waste his Dynamax and take out his Colossal easily. Instead of being plus two on an attack, he'll be minus two. 
Oh, oh, oh. Big mistake here, buddy. Come on, show me the surf. Show me the surf. The surf coming out here. The tailwind. No, tell me the Weavile still outspeeds by Malamar. Tell it to me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. There's the surf. Weakness policy triggered. With a steam engine. That's fine. The steam engine and the weakness policy. Watch this, guys. Watch this. My Malamar should be able to outspeed that Colossal. And this could be huge. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. You, what you mean you outspeed me? Oh, with the steam engine. With the steam engine. Okay, buddy. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. That is fine. That is fine. He's right. He does outspeed me with that steam engine. That is totally fine by me. My Whimscot's gone, but we have that tailwind up. Watch this. My my play is still happening. Topsy turvy, baby. Yes, sir. Look at his stats. All of his stats were reversed. That is huge. That is huge. I cannot wait to show you guys his stats. What is he? Minus six speed now? Minus two special attack. Minus two attack. Oh, now we're bringing out the fish. Now the fish is coming in here. Or do we do we bring out the fish or do we bring out the Gengar? Hmm. Could bring out the Gar. And we have the weakness policy on the Gengar. Oh, we bringing out the Gar, baby. We bringing out the Gengar. Oh yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, I don't want to hit him with another water move. That's why I didn't go into the fish's friend because his, then his speed would have been back to normal. But look at this. Look at this, dude. <laughs> Topsy Turvy coming up big. Topsy Turvy coming up big. I can't go for a dazzling gleam now. It's not very effective on you. I can just go for a stab shadow ball, sledge bomb. I'm gonna start boosting our uh I'm gonna start boosting our special attack here. Go after you. And then I can just go for a wonderful rock slide. Rock slide could be good. I can just go into a superpower here. Hmm. But wait, contrary, instead of lowering our uh instead of lowering our our attack and defense, we're gonna boost our stats. He's gonna withdraw the Weavile. He's gonna withdraw the Weavile and out comes the Orangaroo. That's fine. That's fine. The Rangaroo does come out here. Oh my lord. We are sitting pretty. Malamar is a beast. That ability, contrary. Woo! And that Topsy Turvy getting to show it off in that first battle. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. That Colossal is nothing. He is nothing. He's going to try to roll a Trick Room now. So we're going to. We got to take out that thing. We got to take out that Orangaroo. We got to take out that Orangaroo. I feel like this is his last option here. Let's see it. Here we go. Max Ooze. We're going to boost our special attack. Let's get it. Boop. Let's do a little bit of damage there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this superpower is going to do work and then boost our stats. It usually just lowers the stats. My special attack does fall, though. That, that is tough, though. But we are physical attacking. So we're going to boost our stats here. So instead of drop and do contrary, it's so good when used right. When used right, it is awesome. Max Quake's going to pop here. Your special attack, I mean, your attack is down in the dump here. And look at that. Nothing. Nothing. Goes nothing. We got to get rid of that Orangaroo. Not even going to lie. We got to get rid of it. They're going to boost their special defense there. But Orangaroo does have to go. And there goes my weakness policy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we are plus three on the special attack board. Oh my god. This team. This team is so much fun to play. Oh my lord. Okay, let's keep running here. Let's keep running. We can go for a max phantasm. And just lower their defense stats. That could be the call. Oh, that has no effect. Max starfall. Mm. I'd rather go for a stab move, you know? I'd rather go for a stab move. I mean, we are physical attacking with our Malamar, so lowering our special attack will not really do anything. Let's see his stats. You're plus one, plus one there. Okay, that's not bad. We're not special attack, so we just need physical attack. So, throat chop. Go for a throat chop. We go for another superpower on him. I mean, I kind of want to make sure that, that Orangaroo's gone. I really do. So, I'm going to double into him. Because I don't want him rolling a Trick Room. I really don't want him rolling a Trick Room. That, uh, what's called doesn't seem too, too good. The Colossal, it's not hitting anywhere. But this should be able to take him out with that weakness policy trigger. Oh, not enough. See, so close. The Buffets would have done it. But we're not allowing him to get that trick room off. We are not allowing him to get that trick room off. That is our plan. Because that will kind of change the game there. Oh, you hunk of junk. He eats his berry. We were so close to taking him out. If we would have just went, no. Because our ghost move wouldn't work. And our superpower take him out. Do it, buddy. Do it, Malmar. Take him. Let's go. Good job. We doubled into him. Now we're plus two on that attack. Plus two on the defense. His Steam Magic Colossal, gone. Out the way. Weavile doesn't really do much anymore. Another Max Quake pops to my Gengar. That's fine. Like, you, or, oh, into my Malamar. But that's even better. Doesn't do anything. Does not do anything. We are stacked up. We are stacked up here. We'll be able to take out that Colossal in one hit, no problem. My Gengar. And then my Malamar's chilling. Like, Jesus, this team. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is one of the craziest off-meta fun teams I played. Austin, thank you so much for sending this one in.
This is dope. This is a dope team. I highly recommend it to everybody. Everyone. Okay, Weavile comes back out. Weavile is going to exert pressure. I'll probably try to steam engine that thing up again. So since it's going to go for a steam engine there, I'm just going to dump it. I'm just going to going to dump that uh, Colossal. I could go for a Max Starfall. I feel like a Max Phantasm would be better on the Colossal. We should be able to take him out. And then we should roll into another uh, Superpower and take out the Weavile and just boost our stats again. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. You're going to withdraw the Colossal. That's fine by me. Who are you going into now? Who are you going into now? That's fine by me. We'll start doing work on you. He does not have a Dynamax. Fake out comes out here. You little biscuit. Gonna fake me out. That's fine. Max Phantasm pops out here. We're gonna drop their stats and probably do a lot of work to this Mudsail. Yep. See you later, Mudsail. What are we, plus four on that special attack board? That is huge. And that is gonna be the game. That's gonna be the game. He's trying one more time to actually... Do I topsy-turvy him again? That's the question. Do I topsy-turvy again? But I feel like our speed is uh, high enough. Is it high enough? No. We're kind of... We're low on the speed. The Tailwind does peter out. Do I go for another topsy-turvy? That's the question. Do I go for another topsy-turvy? Because he's going to go for another surf. Run off that steam engine. Try to get that speed back up in here. That's his plan. That is his plan. He's going to try to uh, run his speed back up. I can go for a Dazzling Gleam. Let me see my Pokemon stats before we even swap out. Our sp oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Okay, so no speed boost. So that Weavile is obviously going first. I might just topsy-turvy once again and go into a Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. I am going to topsy-turvy once again over on you. Over on you. Because if he doesn't go for that Surf to trigger that Steam Engine, then it just fails. And we'll take out that Weavile, which is fine. Surf comes out. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted. He's going to boost his speed. Try to take out my Malamar this time. He's coming for me. Look, that does a decent amount of damage for him. Steam Engine pops here. He's plus six on that speed board. I think my Gengar still outspeeds that thing. Let's see. First Body comes out. No more Surf for you. You just knock it off with that Surf. No, he goes first. Earth Power is going to come out here. Maybe take out my Gengar. Is it? It does take out my Gengar. That's fine. Now we're just topsy turvy. Take his speed back. And then we're chilling from there. Yeah, yeet. And surf's disabled now, so we cannot do that again. So look at that reeds, man. Those reeds. All stats were changed. Sandstorm does subside. This is lovely. This is lovely. Now we go into the fish. And we have this fish right here. We have the fish. The fishy poo. Fish is choice scarf. I'm gonna. Do I fish this rand off on that, uh. Weavile? Yeah, I want to get this Weavile out the way. And I honestly just want to go for a superpower here. I don't know if we outspeed the Weavile. That's, that's a tough question. Do we outspeed the Weavile? The battle was just canceled. Beautiful. Oh, my Lord. We played that game perfectly. That was amazing. What more do you want from that last match? Guys, that had everything. We read the leads from him, read his moves, just dominated. Just absolutely dominated that game and took control. This guy's playing another Trick Room team with a Mudsdale. Um... I'm going to go into that Malamar once again and that Whimsicott in case he wants to roll Belly Drum. In case he's trying to roll Belly Drum, like, that's fine by me. You can roll Belly Drum if you want. Um, who do I bring in after this? I'm going to bring in the Jerka Fish in the back end. And do I want that Rabombi or that Gengar? Or I kind of want that Club Fable because if he does run Trick Room, we have that Iron Ball. We do have that Iron Ball, which is huge. Which is huge. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go. Let's go into here. Let's bring our Fable in the back end here instead of the Gar. But, oh my lord. Oh my lord. I cannot get over that last match. Like, contrary came perfectly. Topsy-turvy was worked wonderfully. It was just everything that you wanted. Everything that you wanted in that match. Well, here we go. Hopping into battle number two. Can we pull off another victory? I hope we can. I hope we can. We also have fling on our, uh, on our boy Whimsicott. We can fling a berry over. Speed up. Okay, so this is, could be a potential double trick room squad. Double trick room squad lead. Um, do we see that thing going for a sword stance? The Mimikyu? That's the question. Do we even set up a Tailwind? Not very effective on both. Okay, so we're not even going to go there. Um, Do we see that thing setting up a... Uh, we're going to go for the Rock Slide here. By I fling my Barry over? Or do I just go... I could go for a Tailwind. Like, we outspeed most of these Pokemon. I'm going to go for a Moonblast. I'm going to double into the Mimikyu. Or the Hatterene. Hmm. I'm going to double into the Mimikyu. I am going to double into the Mimikyu right off the bat. I mean, he might go for a Sword Dance into... How do he's going to go for a Protect? Good thing I double into the Mimikyu. Good thing I double into that Mimikyu. He thinks we're going for a Trick Room. Nah, son. We're coming for you. We're coming for you! Take off that. And now we can potentially get a flinch. Is he going for a Sword Dance? Is he going for a Sword Dance? That's the real question. Are you going for a Sword Dance? Rock Slide. Oh, we do outspeed this thing. 
Now this protect it, and here comes the rock side. Can we make this thing flinch? That'd be huge right off the bat. That'd be huge. Let's see. Let's see. He goes for oh mimic huge run the trigger. That's fine. That is fine. Not swords dancing. A little tough. Good thing we did not run that tailwind. Um, how are we gonna go in from here? We can go rock slide. No, Whimsicott can. Might want to swap out my Whimsicott. And go into you. And go into you. We can potentially go for some follow me. Start doing some work. I mean, that's not gonna. The rock slide isn't gonna even get the flinch off. So, what's the point of going into it? What's the point of going into that? I'd rather just go for a throat chop over on the Hatterene or the Mimikyu. I kind of want to get this Mimikyu out the way. They're both tough. They are both tough. We're going to swap out the Whimscott, though. And we're going to go into the Cliff Fable from here. And maybe have that Whimscott and that Fish in that back end for later once the Trick Room is over. But both these Pokemon are running Trick Room. They are both running Trick Room. The Fable comes out. What is going to happen from here? He does not Dynax. He goes for a Shadow Sneak on my Fable. Can we eat that up? That's fine by me. And the Mystical Fire comes out here over on you. That's fine. Lower my special attack. That's fine by me. Like I said, we're just here to do some little bit of follow me action. The Throat Chop comes out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat it, buddy. I love that animation. I really do like that animation. Um, sh sh They have no stat changes, so like, what's the point? I'll slide over to this Mimikyu here. If we can do some work over there. We can't go for a follow me. We could totally go for a follow me. Or we can go for a copycat. Mmm, we could go for a copycat. Or I can just go for a Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to double up on the uh, attack board. Try to do some work on him. There we go. We outspeed. This is why she's here for those Trick Room squads. Do a little bit of work. Dazzling Gleam comes from you. That's fine by me. Let's work on my Malamar. They're probably going to double into my Malamar. Oh, will o -Wisp comes in. Over on who? Over on my Malamar. That's fine. That is totally fine. I can get for a follow me next turn and get another hit off with my Malamar. But hopefully a Storm Trap can do some work. Yeah, yeah. Decent amount. Can we? Will that take? Will another one take him out? Will another one take him out? I can go for a superpower. This is just a tough little matchup here for us. A very tough matchup here. Um, I can go for a superpower. It's not very effective. I think Throat Chop is the next best option here. Go here into a follow me. We just have to get rid of the trickers. We have to get rid of the trickers. That is our plan. And then maybe our fish can just run things in the end. There goes to follow me. Meow, meow. Shadow Sneak comes out. You're not going after my Malamar. Leave him alone. That's my problem. Leave my Malamar alone. And the Dazzling Game will take out my boy. That's tough. That's tough news. Okay, okay. I should just let him take out the Malamar. The follow me was kind of a waste. Um, how many turns left in the trick room? How many turns is left in the trick room? That's my question. That is my question. Let's see, let's see. Let's give it a quick peek. Let's give it a quick peek. We have one turn left in the trick room. Um, we can't set up Tailwind right now. We can go for a moon bus. We're gonna take out this Mimikyu. We're going after you, Mimikyu. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We go for a copycat. Now I'm gonna deal a little bit of damage. I'm gonna try to get this Mimikyu gone. I gotta get this Mimikyu gone. The Shadow Sneak comes in here. Don't you dare take me out. Leave me alone. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go. Three HP. Three HP. We do a little bit of damage here. Now Dazzling Gleam pops out here, takes out my Cliff Fable. And lowers my Wimscott. So the Trick Room is gone. We are going to go first. We are going to go first next turn. And the Mimikyu is gone here. Well, it should be gone. I hope it is. <laughs> Die, Mimikyu. Okay, Mimikyu's gone. Tough little start from us there. Tough little start from us there. No more Trick Room. And now we can bring out our fish. Now we get our fish rolling here. We're going to Chewy Scarf into our fish's run. Start doing work from there. Tailwind's going to pop here. Um, do I take out the Mudsdale? That's the real question. Do I take out the Dale of the Muds? Do I take out the Dale of the Muds? Um, I got a Tailwind here. Who am I taking out here? I can see him totally going for a Protect. I feel like a Fisher's Rend would be better. Cause I can see that Hatterene going for Protect. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie here. Does that Hatterene go for the Protect? It's either going for that or a Trick Room. I know he's Dynamax. I know he's Dynamax, but I want to get a Fisher's Rend off here. And then we can Tailwind up. But show me that Hatterene's going for that Protect. Can we get the Dynamax over here. Come on, show me that protect. He's probably going for a trick room now. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that is some tough news right there. Don't you dare show it to me. Show me that protect. Show me my reads were right. We can pump on this Dale of the Muds. Oh, on Dale over here. We'll just call him Dale. Let's see. What's my read right? Does protect come out? Protect does come out. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Nice little read by me. Let's see how much damage our vicious friend can do. Tailwind pops. Yo, yeah, give me that tailwind, baby. 
Now we can go over here. I'm a little, with a little bit of fish friend. Yeah. Look at that! Look at that damage, baby! Look at that damage. Stamina goes up. So all we have to do is eat up a shot here. We have to eat up a shot. I might not even die to Max here. Max Knuckle comes flying through on whom? Not on my fish. Not the fish. Okay, so... I can totally see you going for a max guard here. I know we're outspeeding. Like, I know we're outspeeding. So, I'm going to go into the... We see a moon blast take him out. I'm going to say a moon blast does take him out here. And I can go into a fish's rent over on the Hatterene. Just double take out here and then turn it into a 2v1 situation. Fish's Ren. Yeah, yeet. See you later, Hatterene. Hey, okay, Hatterene's gone. Okay, dude, we're playing this one very well. We are actually playing this one very well. A little slow in the beginning. Can moon blast take? Yes! Yes, baby! 2v1 situation now. Big plays by us. Run out that trick room, and we are rolling. We are rolling now. Like I said in the beginning, I want to switch that Whimsicott out, wait out that trick room, and get the fish going, because we know what the fish can do. Against this Torkoal now, that's game. Bye-bye. Drought comes out. We're chilling. We are chilling here. We are chilling. And we can go into... Do we just go? I don't want to go into a flame. Playing is more so for my item. I can boost our speed, but I already know we're faster. We're just going to a moon blast. And then go into a fish's rend here. A nice little fish's rend. Let's see, fish rend. How much is it gonna do in the drought? Does it still do work? Oh, it does some nice damage there. I know we outspeed this Torkoal all day. So unless this eruption kills us both. Or this could take him out. Let's go! Let's get it, baby! This team is crazy, man. We showed off with that Malamar in that first match. Now we're showing off the other side with the Draco Fish. Finally, a non-trick room team. Finally! <laughs> this guy's probably going Whimsicott Snorlax right off the bat. I can try to go for another Topsy Turby with the Belly Drum. Could potentially do that. I think that is the play. Since he's not running that trick room, Whimsicott's totally coming in here. Clefable's going to sit on that back end. Then who do we go into from there? Who do we go into from there? Does the fish come in here? The fish could do some work. All in, in all honesty, the fish can do some work. So I think I'm going to bring the fish in the back. Then do we give Rabambi a little bit of loving? Do we bring fish? Actually, let's go Rabambi back here. A little bit of Gengar action. A little bit of Gengar action and get rolling from there. I'm going to get rolling just like that. Just like that, baby. We still can use Fling. Fling is a very nice move. I would rather throw it over to my, like, my Gengar to boost his speed. If we get the chance, but... You guys do not know what fling does it will fling our berry to our allies we can just saw serve it Mwah, here boost your speed buddy you eat it up right away but i think he might go belly jump right off the bat or go into the snarl could go into the snarl darmantan combo good but i think he's gonna go into that whimscott because he probably thinks we're going into the whimscott we're gonna neglect our tailwinds by going tailwind for tailwind then i hope he does set up that belly drum i hope he does go for that belly drum <laughs> I really do. That would be hilarious. He wouldn't even know which big. Nah, son. You know what we're doing? Yeah, yeet. Give him that little bit of topsy turvy action. A little bit of topsy turvy again. It's so much fun to use. Like, it throws people off. Like, that colossal guy in the first match had no idea. Had no idea. He's like, what do you mean? I have no stats now. But the Whimscott and Darmanitan do pop off right off the rip. Right off the rip. Um. Do I see him going after? Do I see him going after my. Me, Malimar? Not to me, Malamar. <laughs> um, we can fling. We can fling. Or right, now we're gonna go with this tail, and we're gonna neglect his tail one and go for this uh superpower because it's gonna boost our attack and defense here. But he is gonna outspeed us here. He's probably gonna Dynamax his Armantan, and it's gonna be rather scary. It is going to be rather scary. My Whimscott does go first, and then his Whimscott will outspeed my boy right here, my Malamar. It does. It does. Okay. I was gonna say, will our Tailwind Malamar outspeed his Whimscott? But it does not. He does not Dynamax an Icicle Crash just popped through on my whims. On my whims. He looked like he was pointing towards my whims. Let's see it. Yeah, on my whims. That's fine. That's fine. We did our job. We did our job. And now this superpower is going to be huge. It is going to be huge here because it's going to boost our attack and defense here. Boop, 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 boop. And take out that Darmantan. Huge, huge, huge. Look at that. Attack buff, defense buff. Big plays coming out. Big plays, baby. Dude, this team. I cannot say that enough. Oh, uh, we can't go into the Rubambi here. Start fake tearing things down. Or we can go into you. I said we save you for the back and go into the Bobby here. Because we can always keep that uh, Malmar alive. Just keep going for superpowers. Just boosting our stats with a contrary ability. This is lovely. It is one lovely ability. Look at this little dude. His hairdo. Malmar's just got the hair, man. And here we go into the Rabombi. I love Rabombi. The Snorlax popped out even better for us now. I'll punch on that thing again. 
And then we can go into a, uh... can go into a speed swap, or we can charm something. We could harshly lower someone's attack stats. Oh, do we really have to do that? Should we give up the speed? Should we give up the speed to the Malamar? Here, Malamar, take up the speed, buddy. We go for another superpower here on this Snorlax. Because we are attack plus one already. We might go for the belly drum. And I can always, always go for the top to turvy later. Here you go. Take that speed. Now we know where Bombi's the fastest on the field. Now my Malamar is. Which is lovely. Superpower comes out. Yeah, do some work. Do some work, baby. Yes, sir. Malamar. Malamar gets that crit too. Now we're plus two attack. Plus two defense. Oh, my lord. I never thought I would love a Malamar this much. I never thought. Like, I love Malamar's design. That's why I said he's one of my favorite uh, Pokemon. Oh, now we're just gonna... Oh, can we get a Palm Puff off? That's gonna be tough. But like I said, I always love Malamar's design. I always love how you have to flip the system upside down the bottom. But I never known I would love him this much in ranked battles. Yo, this is awesome. So much fun, honestly. Valadon pops here. We're gonna get a little smackaroo on him. We're gonna get a little smackaroo on him. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We go for a Palm Puff over on him. I really don't think we're gonna land it. Because the Rubambe is rather slow now. Hmm. I can actually give you. I can actually give this Whimsicott lower speed now. I can give it the Malamar speed. This is exactly what we're doing. We're going to go for it. And then Superpower is going to roll out on this Duralita. Can you show me three one taps in a row? We're going to outspeed him. We are going to outspeed him. Then I can always rock out into my Gengar. <laughs> Did I bring Gengar? Yeah, I brought Gengar. But oh my lord, guys. This is nuts. This is nuts. How much damage is this gonna do? Plus two attack. Superpower is a 120 base move. Hey, jeez, man. Jeez. We're gonna outspeed. We know that for a fact. Unless he goes. That would be smart for him to guard up. Is he gonna guard up? He does not. Not smart by him. Look at that. <laughs> you love to see it. My Malmar's gonna go down here. That is fine. Moonblast comes out here. Bye, Malamar. Malamar did some work, baby. Did some work. We can Dynamax now. It's going to be a little tough. Like, do we see us taking out this uh, round on here? The Max Steel Spike comes out here. Takes out my Rabombi. What is this? A 2v1 situation? Ooh. Oh, but we stay. We stay, and that Whimsicott will go last now, which is huge. Because we are speed swapping with that. My Rabombi is going back to fast speed. Going back to fast speed. Get it, Rabombs. My Rabombi's taking your speed. Give it up, baby. Take my take Malamar's speed. So Rabombi gave Malamar the speed. Malamar gave Rabombi the speed. And then Rabombi gave Malamar speed to Whimsicott, and we took Whimsicott. So that's beautiful. Okay, we still have our D Max here. We still have our D Max. But I know my boy's the fastest on the stage. My Whimsicott. Not my Whimsicott. My uh My Rabombi. I'm gonna go into a Palm Puff. Oh, that's not very effective. We'll have to take him out. That's a question. That is a question. Mm. D Max. I see. No, not D Max you. Uh, we're just going to go for a Palm Pop over on you. And we are going to Dynamax our guard here. Because he should be able to outspeed the. What's it called? He should be able to outspeed that thing. That the route on. Hands down. Should be the second phase on the field. Let's go for a Max Phantasm here. And start working from there. Ooh, this is scary. This is scary. So here we go. Big Gengar coming up here. I wish I miss Mega Gengar. Like, I miss him so much. Like, that design was so cool. The design was so cool. I remember I got, like, a Pokemon card with Mega Gengar and just loving that design. I was like, oh my god. He looks phenomenal. He looks phenomenal. I miss. I do miss the Mega Evolutions. Those were my favorite little mechanics in Pokemon game. The Mega Evolutions. Like, finding the stones and all that. It was beautiful. But who goes first? Hyper Bombay does now. Do a little bit of damage that one's got. If it's Sash, it is gone now. And then we go second. That is going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be the game. Because either way, my next Pokemon is going to take out that Whimsicott. If he takes out my Gengar in one hit, which I do not see happening, then my Rabombe will outspeed and just punk on it with the Pilot Puff. Beautiful. Did we just go 3-0 with this team? Did we just go 3-0 with this team? I was not expecting that. I was maybe thinking maybe going 1-2 with it. I was thinking maybe going 1-2 with it. Or 2-1. Because honestly, this team looked very hard to play, but we actually worked it very, very well. Both our Tailwinds do peter out. No more Tailwinds. And that's going to be lovely. What do we end it on? Do we end it on a Max Ooze? Oh, yeah. We're going super effective. Stab right under that one's cop. But he's probably not even going to show it off. He's probably going to run. And that's going to be the game. Let's see what he does. What he does. Oh, we do 3 and 0. Oh. Jeez, man. Jesus. I've been on a roll. I've been on a roll. 
Uh, actually, no, we have not because my last recording I, I went one on one, which is eh, which is eh. But this kind of makes up for it. Beautiful, bye bye, one Scott. Your protect does not help. Beautiful. Oh my, I cannot get over this team. I'm gonna have to try it again on the rank ladder, maybe when I'm streaming. But dude, this was awesome. All I have to say is, contrary, Malmar's OP. Did you guys see that thing? Just absolutely running rank battles. 3-0 with this squad. Absolutely dominated. Austin, thank you so much for sending in your team. I'm going to say this again. If you guys want me to use your guys' team, leave your rental codes in the comment section down below. Make it easy for me. Tell me whether it's a singles or doubles. Leave a list of the Pokemon. And if you have an EV spread, send that as well. Seriously, it makes things 10 times easier. I won't have to sort through typing in codes just to look at teams. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.